So welcome back and in this session I am going to discuss about observing patterns in whole numbers and how do we utilize these patterns for simplifying mental calculations. So let us start doing that with a few examples in addition. Now let's say that you want to add two numbers, 117 with 9. Now how can I simplify this? Is there a pattern that I can look? Yes, I can. What, what can I do? Can I write 117 plus 9 as 117 plus 10 minus 1? Because 10 minus 1 equals 9. Now what has happened here? It's very easy for me to add 10 to 117 which is nothing but 127 and then I have to subtract 1 from it so I get 126. So what I have done, I have converted this 9 into 10 minus 1 here and which made my calculation very very easy. Otherwise, just straight away trying to do this 117 plus 9 could have been a bit difficult. Now, let us take another example. Now, in this case, let us subtract 9 from 117. Now, how do I write this? Well, I can write it as 170 minus 10. So, I am increasing one more number to be subtracted. But then I have to keep it as 9. So, I add a plus 1 here. Now I know that 117 minus 10 is very simple. It is 107 plus 1. So it is 108. So again we have simplified our uh, subtraction here. Well, there are multiple ways to do this. This is just an example in which you can do it a bit faster. I mean it, and it's more applicable to uh, numbers where you have this. Now can I, if this is 99, can I try with a higher number like that? So let me take another example in which now we do 117 plus 99. So this, if we observe this pattern based on this, what we can write is 117 plus 100 minus 1 because 100 minus 1 is 99 and then it becomes 217 minus 1 which is very simply 216. Now how about trying to subtract 99 from 117? 117 minus 99 so that equals to 117 minus 100 plus 1. It's, this is equal to 99. So 117 minus 100 is very simple 70. And this plus 1 is here. So I can write 18. And what does this suggest? What does this suggest? It means that we can use this pattern, the pattern of this 10 minus 1, minus 10 plus 1, 100 minus 1, minus 100 plus 1 to simplify when adding numbers with 9, 99, 999, 9099 and so on. So this is one example where addition, in addition where we observed a pattern and simplified our mental calculations. Now in this case for example when we have the two digits uh, we have a single digit 9 and 9. It is relatively simpler to uh, do this operation without even going into these details. However, it is when that we have bigger numbers, more than two digits, that is where you see the real advantage of this method. Now let us try to see if we can find out such observation for multiplication. So let us again take the same example uh, but 
we will change the first number let's try to do 84 multiplied by 9 now how do I represent this in such a way that it becomes relatively simpler for me so what I can do is I can keep 84 as it is and I could write it as 10 minus 1 so which equals to 840 minus 84 and you can solve this to get the final answer the other one would be 84 into 99 now this becomes 84 into 100 minus 1 which will be 84 100 or 8400 minus 84 and you can calculate the answer here similarly if you have 999 84 multiplied by 999 it gives you 84 into I can write it as 1000 minus 1 so which gives me 84 thousand minus 84 now do you see a simple pattern emerging here when you have numbers like 9 99 999 what you simply need to do is to multiply it with let's say if it is a two digit multiplied by 100 and subtract 84 from that right if you have a three digit number that is 999 you multiply 84 with 1000 and subtract 84 from it and this is how we see that this type of pattern observation and multiplication helps now let us try to see uh, another set of examples in which we try to multiply a number by let us say 5 so let's do this let's try to multiply this 96 by 5 now how can I simplify this here so I can write this as 96 into 10 by 2 when I 5 can be written as 10 divided by 2 now this is quite a simple thing to do so uh, what we have is 960 divided by 2 so it, it, it equals to 480 so as you know that it is easier to divide by 2 right then to do this complete multiplication so this has helped our helped us to solve the multiplication then let us do take another example in which we try to multiply 96 with 25 now how do I make this faster so I can simply write 96 into 100 divided by 4 because 25 is 100 divided by 4 so this becomes 90 600 divided by 4 which will straight away give us 2400 okay now let us try to do one another example in which we do 96 into into 125 how do we write this so this will be 96 into 1000 divided by 8 which equals 96,000 divided by 8 which is nothing but 12,000 so as you can see that we have taken the patterns of number and simplified the calculations for us so this is how observing patterns for whole numbers can simplify calculations for you and please remember that these are just some examples here the possibilities of simplification are just limitless it depends on individual to individual so just try doing different examples and trying different uh, combinations of numbers to simplify your calculations it's quite fun so see you soon